Hi everybody, welcome to World Swamp. This is Fat Frog, and today we're going to talk about where to get some of the resources on the regular old Arc Vanilla map, uh, also called the Island. And uh, so we're going to show you where to get some of those. We'll show you on the map, and we'll go there, and uh, and we'll see some stuff. Now, um, I already did a video on that for the center map, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can see that and uh, so let's get started right away so here we are on the map and you can see we're way down here in the uh, lower right hand corner also known as the south east and this is the most uh, tame of all the places on Ark Survival so there are no predators here under normal circumstances and I forgot to mention that we are playing on a modded uh, single player game and so that's why I am riding an alpha pteranodon and it's so darn huge sitting behind me um, so you can just ignore um, some of the creatures that you'll see today because they're from the extinction core mod and uh, all the resources are exactly the same so on this little island where I showed you uh, there are a few resources there is some metal nodes they're not the high producing nodes but there are no predators so it's a very safe place to start out with and we've got another alpha pteranodon going berserk over here there's some cool vegetarians but like I said you're not going to be able to tame any carnos uh, any t-rexes or anything like that out here on the vanilla map unless you swim across or take a raft across over to the uh, main islands um, on the island map so that's a good place to start out but I will show you my favorite place in the south where it's uh, more dangerous but still um, it's still doable so we'll uh, be right back all right and just sort of as a side note this is one of my favorite uh, places to be to uh, build early on in arc or even just to uh, to live here all the time and because we're pretty close to some resources I'll show you where we are on the map uh, we're right down here we're kind of in the middle of the uh, island uh, on the south there and uh, we've got some resources down over in the ocean here we're gonna have find some oil there's a few trilobi uh, trilobites around but we have oiled nodes down in here and so a lot of times you're really not going to need a lot of oil. You're going to need some to, you know, make gasoline and other things like that. But uh, so this might satisfy your needs for the most part. Uh, these uh, couple of oil, oil nodes that are around down here, if you can get down to them without suffocating. So you can just harvest an oil node here. You get the most oil uh, by using a metal pick. Uh, versus other tools you can also tame an Anki and you can actually swim down and tame or not tame but harvest oil with an Anki and that can be pretty effective they're supposed to have high oxygen um, but uh, I have never tried it because uh, I've never really needed to and uh, yeah so we're over here on the very so southern part of the map and just up over that way is what I like to call Crystal Hill and Crystal Hill is probably one of the best sources if not the best source to find metal and uh, crystal of course on the southern part and there's a fairly substantial um, amount so if you build a base down here like we did on the Xbox you can make little runs up to the hill and get some uh, let's see here we go and get some various resources so there's a metal node or two on the way here kind of up on this small hill and then as we move our way back over here to the big hill which i call crystal hill there's some metal nodes around the base of it but way up here on the top are some great metal nodes so with a metal node the uh shinier bolder bron or, uh, bronzer it is whatever you want to say the more metal you're going to get out of it when you harvest it and again you know using a metal pick is going to give you the most amount of metal so these nodes up here are going to give you a ton of metal and uh, they'll respawn of course after a certain amount of time depending upon your settings and then you've also got crystal which is your source of crystal for spy glasses and then you'll also get um, what else do you get oh yeah so you get uh, rare mushrooms off of them so they're uh, a great asset to have and you're on the southern part of the map which is a little tamer to be at it's um, 
you know the temperature is better the water resources are there um, and there's fewer really really bad predators you'll still see some uh, you know alpha raptors around there's plenty of raptors around occasional carnos and dire bears and things like that but it's a little more tame than the northern regions so we'll move on once again and uh, we'll show you where probably the best place to get metal and obsidian is and also we're going to have really low frame rates so we'll be right back okay we're back we've arrived at what is hands down the best place to get metal and obsidian and we're at the volcano which is pretty much in the center of it all over here maybe just off to the west so let's take a look at our map and see we're just to the west of center or the left on the map and we're gonna fly down in here I put my map away and uh, and take a look at what's down here in the volcano so we've got obsidian which are these black dark black rocks these are of course metal and we're getting metal over here now we have our harvest rate uh, is uh, turned up a bit so if you're just playing with vanilla settings you're not gonna harvest as much as I am with uh, the pick that I'm using so there is just a ton of metal around here there's a fair amount of crystal and then there's this little uh, sort of canyon that you can get uh, Ankies up or and uh, you know other animals you could get Brontos up here you can uh, create like a mobile forge kind of a situation and so yeah this is the best place to get metal uh, and obsidian in the map you can find um, some obsidian let's see if we kind of come over here there's a mountain that is in the center of the redwood biome there's a little bit of obsidian over there so that's straight ahead right there um, and there's a fair there's a good amount of metal up over there as well so if you want to build a base um, close to a good metal source that would also be a good uh, decision right there where there's a beacon right there right now um, so that is probably yep the hands down the best place to get metal um, in a reasonable setting so we'll be back we're gonna head over to some oil nodes and show you where to get some silica pearls okay we've made it to another great area for resources I'm standing right in front of an oil node it's a huge oil node we're over here we're basically at right on the edge of the snow biome and we'll take a look here at the map you can see where we are we're way up here into the northwest and we're on a little island this whole coast is full of oil nodes that are above water and that is great it's super dangerous up here so it's always course super cold as well um, I'm fairly well insulated it's beautiful up here it's snowing right now and so if you come up this coast it's full of nodes now the nodes that are down here are a little safer in some respects because um, you can see what's coming at you <laughs> and in this case it's a lot of wolves and wolves are super dangerous the other thing that's great about this coast is this is probably the best place to find silica pearls and they are just off the water here in a shallow area and it's relatively safe so we'll just dive down in here and so this is silica pearls now I gotta put my pick away or there we go and then I can just hit E and then I can pick up silica pearls so you can get silica or Christ, I say it's pretty safe around here and now I'm being attacked by a <laughs> out the sword. anyway so the silica pearls are found in these uh, little clam shells, um, which we had just picked up. You can kind of mistake them for some of the white corals that are around here, and then you just pick them up, and you'll get a lot more silica pearls that way than you will if you try to harvest them from uh, trilobites. So let's take out some of these stupid mega piranhas. Now I don't really run into many mega piranhas in uh, the vanilla game that is to say unmodded so let's get this we can pick up more silica pearls and we can continue doing that moving up and down this shallow reef up here in the snow biome you can see here's even more silica pearls so this is probably the greatest place to get them you can also get some in uh, one of the rivers towards the center and we'll go there next 
Um, but <clears throat> before we go, I'll just show you a little more of those oil nodes that are over here. So as you fly up the coast, we've got oil nodes down here. There's also metal nodes. And we have kind of a little sub base built out here. And some of these black rocks will also give you a bit of oil. But as you move up here, you've got a lot of dangerous baddies going on. Let's see. Two, and there should be more oil nodes around as you fly up the coast. Yep, here's a bunch of them. See? So if you need oil, this is a great place to come get it. And uh, yeah, so let's head over towards the center and find some more of those silica pearls. And one thing that I'll mention that I think a lot of new players won't realize is a great place to get metal too is uh, from river rocks. Now you're not going to get as much metal as you would from a metal node. But if you look down here, you can see these uh, roundish rocks that are light gray. Sometimes they're uh, a little more black. But in any case, uh, you can get more metal from those than you could if uh, you just tried harvesting from regular rocks. So it's not too bad of an idea uh, to uh, put up a base near river rocks, not just metal nodes. And just so you can see on the map, we're over here sort of in the central western area along the river. Put the map away. We're right next to the red forest biome. So this is a pretty cool location um, To be at now. I want to show you another thing check out that titanosaur. It's pretty cool, man Let's go check them out real quick. Oh Sweet, I like one of those I'd like to tame one one day, but I have uh, not much of a desire to do that And I thought I'd just show you one cool thing about this mod right now. We've got a skeletal Carnotuthis that killed me just a little while ago where I'm trying to make this video, so I'm just going to avoid him. But he is really cool. He's got these glowy, fiery eyes. And of course, the skeleton. Pretty neat. Oh, he saw me. Alright, I'm going to show you one more thing uh, before we go. And I will be right back. We're back, and I've got one more cool thing to share with you today. We did take a look around for those silica pearls that I thought were in the river, but I think when they redesigned the map to add the redwood biome and some other stuff, um, that that area disappeared, unfortunately. But there is another place you can get silica pearls, and that's brought to you by beavers. And those are the beaver dams. They're not really so much a beaver dam as they are a beaver lodge, but when you access the inventory, usually what you'll see in here are uh, of course a lot of there's a lot of wood um, but you get some uh, cementing paste and silica pearls which are kind of hard to come by as well as rare flowers and uh, one word of caution though as soon as you access this inventory and start taking stuff out of it you will be attacked by every beaver in the area and that's why I went ahead and uh, quick tamed up this guy over here. Uh, beavers are really cool and useful as well. I've got a video on that. So that about wraps it up. Um, go to a beaver dam to get cementing paste because cementing paste is really hard to make with the amount of stone and stuff that you've got to collect. The stone and uh, chitin isn't so bad, but the uh, stone that's required is pretty ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and enjoyed my beard and green eyes. Thanks for watching.